Yeah. You love coming out, ain't you, little Cade? <laughs> <laughs> monitors and i imagine you are otherwise you wouldn't be on this youtube channel and you wouldn't be on this video whilst you are like and sub welcome to the very first episode of the green tree monitor diaries so i'm on my way to go and buy a baby green tree monitor and this episode slash series will be obviously number one obviously at the start but we're going to be documenting little cadres progress and process of how i'm taming her and interacting with her and enrichment with her so yeah, that's the plan. This video is going to be up hopefully on Monday. It's currently Saturday. So you might see it on Monday, you might not. Um, and hopefully every other Monday we'll be doing some sort of video to do with Kada. Whether it be a long one like this, I imagine this one's going to be long, or whether it's going to be a short one. Um, and then every other Monday, the Captive Raptors podcast is back. Looking forward to it. Going to get guests on and actually have a functioning, like, good, good, hopefully good podcast that I can... Um, get guests on and we can talk about all different species of monitors, people that are ex experienced, people that are inexperienced, people that want to ask questions, people that I want to ask questions to. That's the plan. So if you know anyone that you want on the podcast or anyone you think would be good, comment below. If there's any questions you would like answered on certain species, comment below. Also comment below about how amazing Kada is at the end of this video. That's about it really. I know the next segment because I've already filmed it, so I'm going to lead into Paul rambling about how happy he is and spirituality and all that rubbish. Um, so just fast forward that if you're interested, but for the future past Paul already tells you that, and then you'll get to see the lizard at the end. So just regardless, make sure you see the lizard. Thanks for watching. Like and sub. So you can fast forward this bit if you want, because this is just going to be me on a ramble, um, and I'm driving, so the audio is probably going to be terrible. But I don't really care. Just fast forward until you see the sexy new green tree monitor. But yeah, it's kind of a mad one, really. I'm really into a bit about me, personal and that. I'm really into like spirituality and that. I've been through a bit of a journey in the last couple of years, trying to find myself and figure things out, and blah, 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 blah. Um, and yeah, for the last 21 years, since I was like seven years old, seeing a green tree monitor in, um, in reptile magazines, I've wanted, I've wanted this animal. And I know I have too, but something feels extra special about getting a captive born and bred in the UK baby and then be given the opportunity to be able to work with one from a baby um, especially coming from a great guy a great breeder a good friend um, Matthew Hill MJH Exotics on Instagram give him a follow but yeah so I'm excited to go there see his stuff um, just nerd out talk monitors get my little baby my little Kada yeah you've got like looking back on how far that I've come in life like looking back as a kid and just dreaming of these visits to the collection that I have now you just need to be really grateful for it um again massive shout out to the girlfriend B giving me the opportunity to actually get this lizard um without her I wouldn't have achieved half of what I've achieved so obviously credit with credit's due but this is a big moment for me on my way there to get it now it's just a very very big moment incredibly excited well, I can't even fathom like how excited I am it's gonna be it's gonna be up there one of the greatest moments of my life and I plan on documenting it I don't know that might sound like but it, it generally is because on a spiritual wavelength from the journey that I've been on it's all been leading to sort of this moment and this and hopefully it's gonna be a little girl and then I'll be able to breed into one of my boys and it's not even about the sense of breeding but because I've sat on my boys for two years and now getting a baby and I won't be breeding it for three years so that's five years and it's not even a sense of money it's just about experiencing these animals and the majesty and the beauty of these animals and trying to care for them the best that we can and evolving with them and growing with them and I'm just very excited to be on that journey so yeah I don't really know what else to say with that so I will cut it there because otherwise I just am rambling but you probably skipped it so fair enough but you'll see me again at some point or whatever the next segment of this video is so this beautiful beastie is my new baby Varanus Prasinus enclosure and it was my birthday. Happy birthday in the comments. So let's give you a quick overview. I'm yet to still go, I'm picking the guy up tomorrow as regards to filming this. So this is my thinking, I'll go for it quickly. My first ever opportunity to build a waterfall and I've got a little cluster of water that sits in there. I need to change it because this has been running through but I'll change this, fresh water. Fresh water running through the enclosure 24 seven. 
I've had glass off, but that sits around 65% to 70% without being sprayed. That's what it sits at. 70% still on this side. Got my basking spot up high, LED, my UVB, and my halogen, as well as the Jungle Dawn. I've got a nice plant down the back. I've got a perch in here where he can chill. She, where she, it's gonna be a girl, where she can chill. A nice big vocal point of oak swooping up coming back there some branches here some branches here the horizontal branches for it to chill can chill there can chill there can get inside here can get inside there nice cork hide up in here little bird box with some moss inside overall let's zoom out i am so happy with this enclosure it just looks incredible so just look at the waterfall look how great this waterfall is if i say so myself because i made it myself but yeah, so as of tomorrow, I'm off to see little Kada, little dragon, my new little baby. Let me stand back so we can admire the beauty of this enclosure. My little Varanus Prusinus. So she can climb around up here, chill and bask up there, jump from thing to thing. It's a little bit empty for what I'd normally like. It's not really, but I could fill it with a lot more branches, but I really like the aesthetic of this. That, for me, zoom out, there we go. It's possibly one of the nicest enclosures I've done, I've done. And I'm over the moon with it. So next time you hear from me, we'll have Lil' Kada. How exciting. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> you filming? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we have the precious, the my precious. If you've listened through to all the waffle that I filmed earlier, it's all come down to this moment where the lizard runs away and it's getting... Oh my goodness! Hey, Abri. Hello. Pretty. Look at this! Probably not focusing because my camera's rubbish. Look at her little tail. So this is it's a... It's not focused. <laughs> not focused is a baby Varanus Prusinus. Is it focusing? Mm. What about that? Watch it run across the bed. Probably. Yeah, there we go. This is a baby Varanus Prusinus. This is Kada. Thank you again to Matt for this absolutely stunning lizard. Look at her back pattern. You see her? I'm saying her, we're hoping it's a girl, but She's absolutely perfect. <laughs> Someone's gonna come in. No, looking at that snout, it's obviously a fork. It looks like a male. I don't really care. Look how gorgeous I have a baby lizard. So now, Kada, in closure, Kada is not gonna be able to go anywhere. Anywhere? What? Kada. Go everywhere. Go be able to go. She's gonna get lost. That's it, get in the way. I'm just checking something. Go on, little Kada. You brought your new little home. Okay. Huh? Yeah. So we're just gonna try not to scare little Kada too much. My phone is not breaking so it's Oh, my phone's running. Focus, please. Yeah, this is this is the start of the Tree Monitor Diaries. This is the perfect little baby lizard. This content is is riveting, but we're just we're just um. My phone's not focusing, guys. I'm really sorry. Let me do this. Do that. So yeah, we're gonna start and just do some filming and recording of Kado and her journey with us and how we tame her out. Well, I'm going to come back in a minute and just clean my camera. So that was that. That was her going in. How exciting. Whoa.
Okay. You gonna go back in your house? Okay, you gonna run up my shoulder? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> She's so cool. Can I explore your waterfall? That's it? That's your waterfall? Where have you gone? I can't see today. Big jump. Uh, yay! Hey, Gates! Hey, girly! What's on your face? What have you been into, Missy? <laughs> Hello. It's jumping onto my hand. Hey, Kate. That's your waterfall. Go and explore your waterfall. Okay. Hello, pretty girlie. The camera quality is so bad. But here she comes. Everyone's favorite girl, Kato. 